Hello and welcome to my creative space. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Welcome to another DIY video. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join this creative squad. Today's DIY is actually inspired by Casey from Grey Birch Designs. She's a very talented interior designer and DIYer. I recently ran into her TikTok and fell in love with this white pumpkin arch she DIYed. I will leave her TikTok link down below and be sure to check her pages out because she has beautiful DIYs and interior design ideas. Now for this project, your girl is actually on a budget, so buying those beautiful pumpkins were not possible for me. So I came up with my own version inspired by her amazing arch if you want to learn how i diy this arch then let's jump right into the video hey there creative squad today we are doing some more halloween diys ashlyn is going to be joining us again so we are doing some outdoor halloween diys and i'm so excited i can't wait to see the end result let's hope everything goes the way i think but um so i'm about to show you what all i'm gonna use for this first diy so i hope you like it Okay, so first thing I'm gonna need is a lot of pumpkins. So I purchased this ones from Walmart. They're different colors, but they don't matter because I'm going to spray paint them anyway, so it's totally fine. Now I'm also going to use a few of these Dollar Tree pumpkins. These ones are black, they have the orange ones too. Um, I'm gonna have to spray paint some of them because I need them to be black and I only have like four of these and like the other ones are orange, so we're gonna have to fix that. But um, so let me show you what all we're gonna need for this first project. To get started with the plastic pumpkins, I'm going to be using some caulk, some tape, and also some white spray paint, black paint, and some wood stamps, and of course a brush. Now first thing I'm going to do is remove the handle off of these, and I will start covering this with tape. Now I will show you how I cover this one up, but I actually end up using three different tapes and I will tell you which one works better. I want to show you once I'm done covering this pumpkin. So first things first is covering the pumpkin so it's no longer a basket. Once we finish that, I push down the tape on the edges to make sure that it's sticking to the basket. And then once that is done, we are going to grab this cutting tool. I don't remember what it's called, but I got this one from Dollar Tree. So I am going to trim the tape because I don't want that extra tape hanging off of the basket. Or I guess off of the edge of the basket. <laughs> so we're going to remove that. And then once you cut it, you can just start peeling the pieces of tape. Now, once you've done that, we are going to grab our stem and we are going to hot glue it into place. I try to do it as center as I could. And then here is our progress. As you can see, different tapes are going on on there. I end up doing 21 pumpkins. Now, the next step is to grab our caulk. And we are going to cover the where we put the tape. So the point with this is I'm going to use this for outdoors. And my problem with this being a basket is that if it rains, it's going to collect some water. And what is that going to cause? It's going to make it heavy so and then this could all fall apart so i figure that if i cover the top and we can seal it good then water will not get into it so i decided to start with the tape to you know cover it up and then i'm going to do the caulk to seal it and that way water will not go inside um i honestly thought of so many ways i could do this and then i could not figure it out i wanted this to be a perfect pumpkin and at the end i was so happy with the result but i was like is this gonna work so this was like a try thing i did like i tested one pumpkin and then once i saw it all complete i was like okay this is gonna work so what i do first is cover the entire top of the pumpkin and then i'm also going to cover the stem now i guess that would be an optional step but i want this to all be one cohesive thing so i am going to cover the stem now once we are done covering the stem i will add more caulk to the bottom to make this a little bit thicker and i feel like this helps uh the pumpkin look like it's actually a pumpkin if you will like it gives that stem look to it and then i'm going to go around the edges and uh once i've sealed uh completely where the tape meets with the pumpkin 
I will cover it up and then all the excess I'm going to spread it down and then I was like well I can't have texture on the top and not all over the pumpkin so I decided to add some texture to the pumpkin as well and this is what it looks like now and here are all my pumpkins already covered up with the caulk. I'm going to use my white spray paint and give each pumpkin two coats of spray paint. These pumpkins are very colorful, so I needed to make sure that everything was going to be covered up completely. Now, Casey on her video actually used the liquid white chalk paint. I don't know which is more efficient. I just decided that I was going to use spray paint. If you need info on that, check the description box down below. And also for all the products I use and how many of each I use for the 21 pumpkins. Okay, here is what our pumpkin looks like now. Ignore this dent in it. I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, we're going to jump to black chalk paint. You definitely don't need a lot of this. We are going to use it to bring back our eyes. Now, I'm going to use a brush. And I am going to cover up the triangles to give our pumpkin a face. You could definitely leave it just white. I decided to go the extra step and cover these eyes completely in black, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And I will do the exact same thing to the 21 pumpkins. Once they are completely painted, I will let them dry and we will move on to the next step. We're making some progress and then we got a special helper. Here is Ashlyn helping me with these pumpkins. And then I got mine started over here and we got a few to go. So let's see how long this takes to finish. And here are all the finished pumpkins. I am in love with how they turned out. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Would you have done something different? I want to know everything. Now these ones are ready to get on the arch and we're going to jump right in. So let me show you what all I'm going to use. To get this porch looking like it's Halloween, I'm going to use some skeletons, spider webs, Dollar Tree pumpkins, haystacks, the Christmas lights. They're actually clear, just like Casey's video. I'm also going to use some zip ties, a drill, and of course, my beautiful pumpkins. I'm so proud of them. I will also be using some PVC piping. I will leave, leave I'm sorry, the info down below if you want to know which size. Um, it will be right there. And now let's get rolling. Okay, I'm taking two of the PVC pipes and placing one on each side. Now, once I put them there, I take another PVC pipe and I measure how much I need this to be to create the arch. And then we cut it. Now that that is cut, we are going to unite these pieces. We need this to be one whole piece. So we are going to do that. We are going to, I don't know what those are called, but they're meant to, you know, put two pipes together. So I'll leave that info down below. I'm so sorry. I I suck i remember what things are called i apologize okay once they are completed we have an arch or a soon to be an arch right and then here's what it's looking like it's a little bit high so i end up digging a hole on each side it was still too high so i decided i was going to trim this so i end up cutting a piece off on each side and then i was a lot happier with where it was now now we are going to leave this alone for now and we are going to jump into our pumpkins let's get these pumpkins ready so i'm going to start with the zip ties and i will attach two of them together why because these ones were short these are actually from dollar tree they did not have the clear longer ones which is actually what i wanted so we gotta work with what we got so i'm attaching two of them together they will do the exact same job now once i do uh that i drill the holes on the pumpkin and then i'm going to take this zip tie and i am going to bend the end to create a hook kind of i guess we can call it then once we run it through the first hole it's going to cause for that hook to run right out of the other hole and we're going to use that to attach it now before i get started attaching my pumpkins i'm going to attach my christmas lights actually I forgot to attach this, this Christmas lights and I attached my first pumpkin and then I was like, oh my gosh, the lights. So I end up having to remove that pumpkin and attach the Christmas lights. And then once I attach those, I go with my pumpkin and I attach it to the PVC. 
now since i'm using two of the uh zip ties i have to pull both ends at the same time so it's a tie enough but if you're only using one then you just have to worry about that one right and now i'm going to take my black styrofoam pumpkins from dollar tree now this is very sensitive you know this material is not meant to be you know rough on so i do the drill uh to create the holes and then once i do that i grab this zip tie just like we did the other ones and i create a a hole in between that pumpkin this is actually really thick styrofoam so i had to use my um drill tool i don't know what that's called like this metal thing to pull that through completely because um uh, again this is very sensitive i didn't want to stick my finger through it and then just you know breaking this so then very carefully i attach it so every two pumpkins i put a black pumpkin that was just on the edges i don't put any black pumpkin pumpkins why do i keep saying pumpkins i'm sorry so every two pumpkins i attach a black pumpkin just to give it a little pop of something different um i and then honestly also because i didn't have enough pumpkins to cover the entire thing i guess you could buy additional pumpkins and do just all pumpkins but i really like that it has that uh contrast with the black pumpkins so there is that so here is what this is looking like how cute is this okay before i go to add the pumpkins to the top of this arch i'm going to take my longer zip ties these ones are actually from dollar tree and i will take five of them and i will use them to attach my arch to the pillar because i don't want this you know arch to fly away or anything so i need to secure it to the pillar we're gonna take a small break because in the middle of us doing all of this we got our last things in from amazon we were expecting some cute spiders and a huge spider web and ashton was so excited to open it this is the last thing we needed to finish our decor for our front yard here is ashton playing with the cute spiders this is actually a pack of eight spiders if you need info on those or the spider web just check the link down below and now let's jump back into our project so i am going to finish attaching the pumpkins actually on the other end and i'm kind of looking at the other side to kind of put them evenly on each side i want this to look pretty and even as much as i can now um I did end up having to attach this one side because these pumpkins were actually heavy. And as you can see, it was kind of wobbling around and I knew it wasn't going to last very long before wind or I don't know, the heaviness from this arch. So we end up having to drill a small little, um, what's it called? A screw. And then I just attached um, a string and then hold my that one side against the wall. To be able to hang these pumpkins and face the right direction, I ran a zip tie through the holes, I tied it very well, and then I ran another one, crisscross it right under, and that is going to work perfectly fine to hang it in these pumpkins face the correct direction otherwise the pumpkins will be sideways and we don't want that, okay? So I hope that makes sense. I don't have a better video. I do apologize for that okay now i'm going to start hanging these pumpkins and i'm going to uh zip tie it into place and for some reason these pumpkins were just facing and hanging down and i was like don't do this to me please please stay up so i do end up having to um run something in between the pipe and the pumpkin to create that extra i guess make it tighter because for some reason they were hanging down. I have no idea why. But, um, you know, I learn as I go. You know me on this channel. Sometimes things go right. Sometimes they don't. Well, this was one of those situations. Nothing's perfect here, okay? So if you're looking for perfection, I am sorry. I am not the one. And I don't test this ahead of time. I run and go with the flow. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I end up doing. I end up adding a little piece of a branch. And I put it in between the pipe and the pumpkin fill in kind of the little gap in between them and then that made them tight enough and then here is a look at what these pumpkins are looking like as you can see i end up adding the last two pumpkins to the corners and how cute is that now i don't want that ugly pvc pipe you know peeking through so instead i added a bunch 
of this spider web from Dollar Tree. Well, not a bunch. I end up using like three packs. I ran it in between the pumpkins and make sure that the PVC piping was all covered up. So I ran it through um going down and then i ran it back up and then after that i just arranged it and make sure that it was covering the pipe and it's a little bit of tedious work but i didn't want that pipe showing so i end up doing that little extra to make sure that it was covered up i do this to both sides and the top and here is what it's looking like and now it's time to add our spiders i was so excited to use this as you know casey did use some spiders hers were that pretty great color and i feel like they were bigger than mine but i end up using this black ones it comes with like two big ones and then two medium ones and then four little ones so i end up using the big one in the middle and then two medium ones one for each corner and then i distributed the little ones on the sides and i was so so happy to do this i was like not think like in my head i felt like it was gonna turn out good but then once i was done i was like this is so cute and then wait until you see it when it's at night you're gonna love it just as much as i do i hope <laughs> so here i am again dropping spiders because um, why not right i'm going to start adding the little ones as you can see just randomly in between some pumpkins these i do not try to mimic the other side i just kind of place them around wherever i think they're gonna look good and again any info on these cute spiders you can always check the links down below and now that our arch is completed we are going to start adding the rest of the decor we are going to place our mats down first these ones i purchased them from home goods and it was like 15 dollars maybe i was so excited to find them because i've been wanting one of those black and white checkered mats and i was just like so excited now we are going to put our planter down and our sign both of them i diy them if you're interested on the video check the link down down below or it should be showing up here on your top right corner now i'm going to grab the haystacks and i'm going to place them first i was like should i do one on each side and then i'm like i changed my mind and i was like no they need to be stacked together i felt like they were looking better that welcome skeleton sign is also from me. I DIY'd it. If you're interested, it should be showing up right now. And also check the link down below if you can't see it. And then we are going to continue. We are placing that haystack right on top of the other one. And I think I like it even more. Now we are grabbing our friend the skeleton. And again, here's Ashlyn trying to help. She's so sweet. She's always trying to help me. We'll see if that stays the same when she's older, right? That would be a lot more convenient than now. <laughs> but anyway so i decided i need to sweep because i made a mess with the haystacks and i was like we need this to look cute and then ashton couldn't figure out what where to put the skeletons and then she's just dancing around right because why not she wants to be silly <laughs> and then i'm gonna finish uh decorating this stuff now i'm bringing bringing i'm sorry my bigger planter that i recently diy together with that welcome sign if you're interested check it out because it turned out beautiful and it's still standing and i am so happy now here i am again trying to move the skeletons around because i could not decide what i wanted to do with them but then eventually we figure it out now the last step is to add our cute spider i left one of those big spiders to use to sit on the haystack and so that's what i'm gonna do now and now we cannot not have a wreath so we're going to hang my wreath that i also diy recently video check it down below and now before we finish everything here is our spider web this is a giant spider web and i wanted to buy it so bad and so i did this is also from amazon here is what it looks like it comes with these plastic stakes that you just stick to the ground and then you just tie um, your spider web ends to it and that holds it in place it was really easy to do and all that's left is to add some spiders and we are done. Now, are you ready to see the end result? I hope you are. <laughs> 